Welcome back everybody, we're on the pointlessly gendered subreddit and you might be thinking, wow, another video where Vincey sits there and reads something that doesn't make any sense? Yes. Today I'll be reading you some stuff that is both concerning and also confusing. Like this right here. As a man, why are you having a birthday dinner? Ugh, men having fun and enjoying themselves? Ew, <laughs> how dare you? Oh my god, you're a man. What are you doing? You should be fighting a war or something, not having a birthday. Oh my god. And you call yourself a man. <laughs> Ladies or low testosterone male pink tool set. <laughs> low testosterone. What the hell? That's kind of amazing. Like, I know that's ridiculous and awful and icky, but at the same time, so funny, kind of. Like, who the hell wrote this? Ladies or low testosterone? No, sorry. Ladies or low testosterone? testosterone male? Shame on you, buddy. Women be like, I've only got $25 left. The whole time they've got $4,300 left. Yeah, she meant that she only has $25 left to spend. Yeah, but like, it's not just a women thing, is it? Oh, women and their saving money. Mission, go to Gap and buy a pair of pants. Male, they went in and they took six minutes and they cost $33. Female, time 3 hours and 26 minutes and spent $876. No way, I do not agree with this. I love shopping. I buy stuff all the time. Women just spend so much time shopping. They're not fast and efficient like us men. I don't know, man. Depends what sort of shop there is. Would you hit your best friend for a million dollars? No, I can never do that. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, bro. No, thank you. What, you think women wouldn't do this? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what are you basing this on? You know, like, most of these are a joke, but this one is annoying. Black Diamond Unisex Rock Lock Twist Lock Carabiner. Oh, yeah. Thank God it's a unisex. <laughs> oh, no. I almost bought a women's carabiner. That would have been horrifying. Bruh. What am I, your college buddy? What's a wrong with saying bra. It's like a guy thing to say to another guy. <laughs> or somebody who can't pronounce the word bro or know how to spell it. Bra isn't a word. Thanks for educating me. I know you don't need to be educated. I guess it's kind of a pet peeve of mine when ladies talk like dudes or try to act like something they're not. Lol, okay. Yeah, they're not doing that dude. You think that they're acting like a dude. That doesn't mean they are acting like a dude. Saying bra doesn't mean that you're trying to talk like a guy. And just because you think it is, <laughs> doesn't mean that it is. Bra. Teacher, today we will learn how to use Photoshop. Girls, wow, well, finally, I can get myself a better skin tone. Guys, <laughs> that's the cutest photo. Like, obviously, it's not a photo. <laughs> Wait, is it? There's just like a fisherman bear somewhere that wears hats <laughs> and is super, super polite. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, I know bears are horrifying and they'll probably maul you, <laughs> but that's so damn cute. Oh, I love that. It reminds me of that, what was that show? The Bear in the Big Blue House? Yeah, Bear in the Big Blue House. I used to love that show. And the bear used to talk to the moon. Oh my god, memories. Wow, I just watched the goodbye song from that show. Oh my god. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. I feel like I just unlocked my childhood. <laughs> like a part of my brain. What does the name Ollie mean? Ollie means olive. Olive tree planter and peaceful for girls and ancestors descendants. Warlike elf or olive tree for boys. Ollie as a unisex name. The name Ollie is a popular nickname, but it can be also given as a standalone given name. Wait a second, so. So 
the word Ollie for a girl means olive tree planter and Ollie for a boy means olive tree. I think you're making up BS website. Ah, yes, the classic. No airbags. We die like a real man. If you think dying without airbags makes you a masculine man, you've got some stuff to work out. <laughs> what makes me masculine is I don't have airbags. <laughs> That's straight up insanity. I've come to the acceptance that as a man, one of my hobbies is home organization and home decor and shopping goes along with that. What bothers me is that it feels pretty feminine. Yeah, well, that's not good, buddy. You really need to work on not being bothered by that because that's super ridiculous. Like, I'm a man, okay? I'm a masculine man. But don't judge me, but I do like home decor and home organization. But I don't want to admit it because it's too feminine and I'm a man, a manly man, a manly wood chopping not butt wiping man. And like, no offense to this guy, but like, it's sort of sad that, you know, guys even need to think that. Barbecue. It's chocolate for men. So, women don't barbecue and men don't eat chocolate, I suppose. What? Barbecue chocolate. Men don't wear dresses or drink from straws. Well then, call me gender fluid because I become a woman at every fast food restaurant. Yeah. I don't know about you guys at home, but I'm not real interested in being a man like this. If being a man is saying what you can and can't do and how you're not a man if you drink from a straw. Doesn't sound like a man I want to be like. <laughs> it just seems so fragile. How women gamble holding their boobs. How men gamble. I raise you my mother's soul. <laughs> what? <laughs> like I know they're a joke but it doesn't make any sense. I'm very disappointed in the design and the quality of this tent. I am a man and I don't do returns. In this case, I'm making an exception. Men don't return things? Why did nobody ever tell me about this? A Melfi? A male selfie, a gender-specific term to describe a picture that a male-gendered human takes of oneself. Oh yeah, I be taking Melfies all the time. Wouldn't want to accidentally take a selfie. Why do men hate celebrating their birthday so much, lol? We're tired of receiving socks from people who expect boat cruises from us. Oh, yeah, that's sad. But also, I don't relate to this at all, so I'm sorry about that. But not everybody is like that. Like, yeah, I know some people do get really crappy presents from people or, you know, not much. Like, there are a lot of comments here that are like, yeah. But at the same time, like, you're getting presents, you know? And it's not like women don't go through the same thing as well. I don't think it's a gender thing. Heroes earplugs for men I suppose. And sleep pretty tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit ridiculous because they're obviously the same company. We have heroes and sleep pretty. Do you think they'd sell more if they had just one universal type of earplugs? Or do you think they sell more because they market two different types when they're definitely the same. Yeah, that one is actually weird though. My first medical kit in a backpack. My first beauty set in a backpack. What? Because girls can't grow up to become doctors or something? And vice versa? Okay. Chocolate for her, chocolate for kids and for him and birthday gifts. They're making masculine chocolate? Are you joking? Ah uh, yes, the four genders. Men, women, children and birthday. Birthday. Whoa, you bought me chocolates, but you didn't buy me manly chocolates? Ugh, I can't eat these, I'm a guy. Stop gendering, things are for everyone. Yes, very well said, Lisa Simpson. And I think that's a good place to leave today's video, guys. I've had enough of being confused for today. My guide dog in training visited a local school recently, and it turned out to be school picture day. Today they sent me this. Oh. <laughs> 
So cute. Oh my god. The dog somehow looks so smart. Like, yeah, hello. <laughs> I know you're taking a photo of me. Stop it. Do I look like a good boy? Just a three breathtaking people looking at each other. Nah. You are. When people travel to the past, they worry about radically changing the present by doing something small. Few people think that they can radically change the future by doing something small in the present. Yeah, but you 100% can. You know, not like that episode where Homer goes back in time and kills that bug and like the entire world is different. Stupid bug! You go squish now! You but yeah, small changes definitely do add up to a big difference. Nah, wholesome. Black cats mean bad luck. Black cats. <laughs> so damn adorable, that second one. Aw, oh, I want one. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time today. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. All that fun stuff. And the comment of the day goes to the hero over there. I smile each time the Hello Kitty bank is in the frame. Let's get Vincey some more. Hello Kitty merch for Christmas? Oh, surely. I tried to put my Pokemon cards here, but you can't really see them. All you can ever see is the Hello Kitty piggy bank. I'm gonna have to get that TV going, and I'll just put stuff on the TV. But yeah, what else could I put in the background? I like that we've got Homer up there on the door. I think that looks really good. I just get a whole bunch of Hello Kitty stuff for Christmas. <laughs> You're too kind. Okay, have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'm a about to say bye. <laughs> bye!